Greetings and thank you for this opportunity to come to you today. Spend a few moments in God's Word and pray with you. This week we'll be talking about an interesting topic on marriage preparation, just reminding us of what the Word of God teaches concerning marriage and helping us learn how to practically apply that. We go back to Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, where the scripture tells us, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined, or cleave, as the old King James Version says, to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. So part of marriage or being married is being joined to or cleaving to your wife or your spouse. So yesterday we talked about the importance of leaving father and mother. Today, as we continue to look at this verse, we look at the second part in this verse, which is cleaving to your spouse. Remember, this verse applies to both the man and the woman, the husband and the wife, because they are both entering in to being married. And as you prepare to enter into being married, you should be prepared to cleave or be joined to your wife. What is that implication? It implies that from now on, the focus of your affections, the focus of your attention is going to be uppermost towards your spouse. And this is very important. You see, sometimes we, uh, people enter into marriage and their attention is divided or sometimes on something else. Something else is uppermost. Something else has a grip on their emotions. It could be a sport and entertainment. It could be other friendships and so on. And you're entering into marriage while the emotions, the affections are locked somewhere else and that will prevent the individual from cleaving to or being joined to or being fully committed to their spouse. And that way, if that is the case, then that marriage is going to sooner or later have difficulties. So as part of preparing for marriage, not only are we learning to leave father and mother, but we are preparing to cleave. That means you're getting your emotions, your affections ready to now reprioritize themselves and make focus, bring their focus uppermost on your spouse to be. That you're, you're therefore mentally, emotionally, and in every way, practically, getting yourself ready that from now on, my spouse is going to have my undivided attention as far as my uh, emotions and affections are concerned. It means you should be willing to make changes in your daily schedule as far as uh, possible uh, or your weekly schedule and reprioritize things in such a way that there is the attention is there is sufficient time to focus your affections and emotions toward your spouse and to express that meaningfully. And this is a big challenge, especially in today's world when uh, usually husbands and wives both would be working or may even have different work schedules and travel, work-related travel and so on. All of these are practical challenges, but things can be worked out so that the cleaving can happen, the joining together can happen, focus of emotions coming together of two individuals, bringing their emotions and affections together saying, you are going to be uppermost in my life as far as earthly relationships are concerned. And that's important for a good, healthy marriage. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for what your word teaches us and instructs us. And we ask that you will give us the grace to put this into our lives, to walk in it, to practice it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.